Hey everybody, it's Paul from Nuke Med, and today we're going to talk about what is a bone scan. Now, the neat thing about bone scans, we use them for a lot of different things. We look them, we look at them for a broken bone. Uh, we look at them for cancer. Uh, we look at them for just to see how the morphology of the bone is is working. So, again, nuclear medicine is functional medicine. We're going to tell you how well uh, the bones are working as an organ. We're not so concerned with them as the structure, like an x-ray. An x-ray and an MRI and a CT give you great structure of what the bone looks like. And we're looking at more of how it's functioning. Uh, so for a bone scan, what you typically do is you generally get an injection of either, uh, either called HDP or MDP. Both of them are bone agents. Uh, they both are uh, radioactive forms of phosphate. I should say you have technesium. Uh, on this um, molecule of phosphate and that gets injected into uh, your arm. Uh, typically, uh, so there's a couple different ways that it can get injected. Now, if you're doing what they call a three-phase bone scan, we'll actually put you underneath the camera and give you an injection and take pictures while we watch this material flow into your uh, bones, into any particular piece. And this is generally for people who have Let's say you have a replacement and they're wanting to know if your replacement is loose. Um, and so typically we will, uh, and so a lot of times we look at knee replacements and so we'll put this over top of the knee, give you that injection and we'll watch the flow in there. And we see if one knee is hotter than the other is basically what we're looking for. We're looking to see if more of the radio pharmaceutical is going into that particular area because that's gonna show us that there's gonna be more healing in that area. Um, now, the, the thing when you're looking at the pictures, at least as a technologist, you have to know if this person's had recent surgery or something like that, because if they have had recent surgery in the last couple of weeks, it's gonna, your more blood's gonna be flowing there anyway, because uh, it's trying to repair itself. Um, and so, so it's, so we have to know some of these things going into the exam. So again, uh, if you're coming here for a three-phase bone scan, um, we're gonna give you under, get you underneath the camera take some pictures. Those pictures probably take 5, 10, 15 minutes tops, and then we'll get you on your way. Um, and so if you're going for a whole body bone scan, let's say they're looking for some broken bones in your, um, just in your body, or if, they're, if you have been diagnosed with cancer, especially prostate or breast cancer, uh, we might be having you come back to see if any of that cancer has metastasized or moved into your bones. Um, and so, uh, what we'll do for that is just bring you back to the what we call the hot lab. This is where we do a lot of our injections. Uh, the hot lab basically for us means that's where we bring our radioactive material in order to inject people. And so we'll give you, uh, we'll put a, either an IV in or give you a straight stick. Generally the needles aren't very big. Um, we try to keep them as small as possible because we don't want people to freak out um, when it comes to that. And uh, so we give you an injection. We'll wait two to three hours, depending on what type of radio pharmaceutical that we're using. And in the meantime, we ask you to drink lots of fluids. And what that's going to do is any of the material that doesn't cling into your bones, it sort of just sort of sits in your body. And the same with the three-phase bone scan. We just want you to drink, and it's going to push any of that extra material that's not in your bones out through your bladder. So we will see your bladder on the pictures. It's going to look like a big round circle. Um, for guys especially, it's important. Um, that, uh, especially with older men, we, we also notice a lot of dribbles. So what we invite people to do is to just make sure they're very clean um, down there after they get done peeing, because otherwise we will see a little bit of activity down there. And sometimes we've had to have people go uh, down to the restroom and clean themselves off a little bit more because the, the excess material does get into, again, I said it comes out through your bladder. Uh, that's how you excrete it. Um, and so we see a little bit more of that. So just be so just be mindful, you know, of that. So if you have somebody, if you, you know you're having somebody who's who has a diaper on or something like that, who's having this procedure, just make sure they change their diaper prior to um, coming in back for their pictures. So then when we do a whole body bone scan, uh, we basically take pictures from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. Your head will start in underneath the machine, but it gradually works your way out from underneath the machine. The whole thing takes about 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the speed of the camera. Um, and so your head's underneath really briefly, but that's the first thing that pops out. Um, so your it's not like a uh, an MRI, it doesn't make a lot of noise. The camera's very quiet. Um, 
and there's no radiation coming out of the camera. Again, you are the radiation source. That, that injection that they gave you, that MDP or that HDP, which is both the name of the drugs that we give. Again, there's no side effects of that. Uh, it's not a contrast or a dye. So again, you're, it's not like what you'd feel like a CT. If you're allergic to contrast dye, you're not gonna feel any different from that. So you're gonna get, um, so we're gonna take pictures from the top of your down to your toes. And we'll also take a side picture of your skull. At least that's what we did at my particular place, just to make sure we can get all the picture of the side of your skull. Cause sometimes it's hard to see the skull is, is, is um, the skull can make it hard for us to, if we don't turn your head to the side, we will miss parts of the skull. And if there's any extra, extra other pictures we need to do as well with the whole body, we'll do those as well too. Interesting story one time, we had a undertaker come in because he was having rib pain and they couldn't see anything on the chest x-rays. And so they wanted to, to do a nuclear medicine scan to see if he had broken any bones. Because what had happened, he was trying to load a gentleman into the hearse. The gentleman was uh, a heavy gentleman and came out of the hearse and the whole cart hit him right in the ribs. He's had pain ever since. When we did the pictures, you could actually see where he was hit. You could see the, the break in the ribs. He had three, I think three or four ribs that were broken because of that force from the stretcher that the, the deceased was on. Um, and so that's one thing we'll do. So for us, when we look at the pictures, and I'll show some pictures of what some bone scans look like, you'll be able to see that, um, again, you're looking for concentrated areas like round dots. Um, one of the gentlemen I did when I was uh, at my first job, uh, he was a farmer and he had a very high PSA. I mean, it was obscenely high. And we did his bone scan and did about every other part of his bone was there's a bright dot on it, meaning that he had cancer and he was struggling for prostate cancer. And so you could just definitely see the amount of cancer that was on his system. Uh, it was very sad to see, uh, to see that, but, uh, the bone scan was really good at showing those different areas. Now, if you're having your three phase bone scan, uh, just, uh, know that we take the, the next set of pictures. Um, so they will look at your flow again. They're just seeing where, uh, those first set of pictures are just going to be showing them where there's more uptake or where there's more healing that's needed. And then when you come back, we'll again, look to see, especially if it's a knee uh, replacement, we're going to check and see if there's more, um, accumulation of the radio the to see if there's more accumula accumulation of the radio tracer around your joint that was replaced and that's going to let us know if it's loosening or not generally speaking with that uh, we normally see loosening right on right on the edges of where the bone where the the um, implant goes into the bone we'll see some rubbing going along there and that's generally indicative uh, there might be some loosening going on. Well, at least it tells the doctor to take a look at that a little bit more. They're the ones who make the final decisions with that. These pictures just give them sort of an idea of, 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 what, um, of what's going on. So there you go. So there's your bone scan. Uh, so again, no prep for a bone scan. Uh, you generally have to drink lots of fluid. They'll give you time to come back. Pictures take, uh, plan about 60 minutes. And um, you're not gonna know any results Generally speaking, you'll hear those from your doctor. Again, the pictures that you'll the, the technologist will generally have is a if you're doing a whole body scan, it's going to be top of your head, down your toes, probably a picture of your skull, and then any other area that they just need better uh, pictures of. That doesn't necessarily mean anything's wrong there. Just sometimes, you know, if there's been some old injuries, or sometimes with especially with the ribs, it's a little harder to get at. And so you'll do some oblique images of the ribs or some side images of the ribs, just in case they can't see anything. Same with your hips. Um, uh, now, if you're having a three-phase bone scan, again, they're going to give them the set of, of blood flow images. That's, again, going to show them where those, um, how you're healing. And then they're going to do a delayed set of pictures. And that's going to, again, show them uh, how the implant is looking. One caveat with the three-phase bone scan, if you've ever had cancer before, please let the technologist know. And you will now get a whole body bone scan because... That's just where the procedure goes. We just want to make sure it's probably not cancer. We don't think it's cancer, but because you have cancer and we got the stuff in you, we might as well look. And so that's why they'll do that. Well, if you have any questions in particular about bone scans, let me know. As always, I tell you to call the department first and make sure that they have the prep that they want you to do. They'll tell you exactly how things are. Again, 
Uh, I've, I've been out of the industry for quite a while. So make sure you talk to them first um, if you have any questions, but if you have any general questions about how bone scans work and stuff like that, let me know in the comment section below. Well, until the next video, I hope you are doing well. Have a great day and stay good to each other.